creating new opportunities comes with the start of the new year. Maybe you're looking for a new hairstyle, you're gearing up for a home remodel, or you're looking for a change in your career. Some of these can be easier than others, especially when it comes time to talk to your boss about making a change. We're being joined by business and life coach, Joe Hausman. Joe is here to offer some advice about how we can set expectations with our employers to ensure that we get the change we're looking for at the office. Welcome. Hello, Ashley. Thanks for having me. It's that time of year where we all start setting goals and we start thinking about what we want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, that is based a lot in our career or what we're doing at work. Right, right. So if we're going to start setting expectations, mm -hmm. where do we start? I actually like expectations better than goals, right? I think goals is maybe a little bit overused. Mm -hmm. So I think expectations would be, um, what are you happy? Where are you happy at? You know, where, what, is, what makes you happy? And then really just kind of go from there. So what, what do you want to accomplish with your life? What, you know, and of course, when we say life, that means so much. <laughs> it means a lot. But then you have to break it down, you know. And into. how important is it that we start with what we can do ourselves? I think when we say, I want to set expectations with yeah. my boss, yeah. I'm thinking of the things I don't like to start with. This is what right. I want to change. But is that the place to start? No, I think the thing to start is, you know, talk with your boss first. Of course, it depends on how big a business you're in or biz office you're in. But talk with your boss first and ask him or her, what is it that you want to see more of me with? But then also start thinking of what you can do to make it better at the workplace. So when we say how to set expectations, we're starting with myself. Yeah. And my attitude. Attitude. <laughs> attitude is big. What do I do, right? <laughs> because we can't control anybody else's attitude, right? We can only control our own. So when I start so, saying I want to set expectations, I'm really yeah. looking at my attitude. Right. How do I talk about my employer? How do I think about my workplace? And right. really maybe reframing where I'm at before I go forward and say, now here's some things that I want from you. Yeah. So a major thing is to always be, you know, try to be positive. Like this morning, you know, things were going wrong. I was running late, da-da-da. And all I, all I sat back was just kind of laughed about it. I'm like, you know what? It's just another day. I can get there, you know, get everything I need to be done. As long as you can take a little bit of that kind of attitude and then, but then have a positive attitude, you know. Um, if you're running late all the time, try to show up early. I mean, my goodness, five minutes early is like a wonderment. Or if you have a bunch of emails you have to get to, may maybe wait till the middle of the day. Or maybe wait, get them, you know, do something different to kind of offset that routine that you always do. But do something different and then start with your attitude to make, <laughs> make, it, um, make it more positive And make it so it's not always, if you're somebody who's always kind of humdrum or yeah. you're kind of like, Oh my goodness, I'm like, don't know what to do. Try to think of positive things. So now if I've tackled that and I'm being the best I can be mm -hmm. and I'm taking on as much as I can, now I still have some things I might want to talk to my employer about. Mm -hmm. It could be something as easy as I need you to know that between the hours of 6 and 9, I'm with my kids and I'm yep. doing stuff. So if you need me, make it a phone call because yep. I'm not checking emails. Absolutely. And then just say, you know what, this is my personal time and this is what I have to do for my time. And you have to carve out that time for yourself, your family, whatever it is. But you have to carve out that time and you have to set expectations. And when my clients are like, no, I've got to work. No, you don't. You know, you're actually going to be more productive if you do. Studies have shown that if you do set out that, you know, family time or your time, me time, a lot of experts will say get up earlier in the morning, which is easier for some people than others or Stay up later and read or do something that's going to fill your mind with positive things. Right. Okay, so a lot of times <clears throat> unhappiness in the workplace is really just a misunderstanding, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. So how important when I'm trying to set expectations for myself and set expectations in my workplace where I'm asking maybe a boss to, to acknowledge some expectations mm -hmm. I have, how important is it to dive into the sort of preferences versus requirements, right? Like what's required of, what do you require of me? Yep. And what do you prefer to have of me? Yeah. And how can we come to an understanding about that so that we're yeah. both being fulfilled? Well, and you know what? That's it. It's give and take, right? So the requirements are the requirements. That's just what it is. Preferences are, though, maybe that boss and you don't have a good relationship. What can you do to make it better? You know, what can you do to help him or her understand you better? You know, be more open, be more, you know, give it, whatever the case may be. But ask them. Ask them. Just like you are in, if you're in a relationship or with your kid, whatever the case may be, but just ask them. Perhaps I'm, I'm consistently kind of getting feedback that I'm not getting um, information to respond to an email at a certain time. Maybe right. that's a conversation I could have where I say, 
when when and how do you need it for Absolutely. me? Because I don't work well doing emails first, and yeah. I'm wondering if could we reframe that expectation so that you need them by noon, and then I can guarantee that I can meet that. Mm -hmm. Which things do you need earlier, right? And or like have, kind of have that. those goals, right? I mean, have those goals set out because I might not know what you need, and you might not know what I need, but yet I think you know what I need. So, but I don't know until you tell me. You know, and so if I'm if I'm the boss and go, yeah, I need those emails by 10 a.m. and you've been consistently doing that 12 or 1, I'm frustrated. You're like, eh, you know, whatever happens. And but then you're like, oh, well, I know that this person needs those. So those clear expectations are so good and so viable, and that goes along with work, personal, anything. Oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes the person who is your boss in the situation is there for a reason. They've been doing it longer. Yep. They've, yep. you know, they've earned that spot or. How important is it to say, hey, I know that this is an expectation that I'm not meeting or I'm struggling to meet my own expectation or goal of myself. Mm -hmm. Help me understand a way that you've been successful in the past that maybe I'm not doing. Yeah, absolutely. And so just tell them, you know, I need to know what I can do to make this better. And ask them, that is actually really cool because if you ask them their experience, everybody likes to talk about themselves, right? I mean, that's just kind of how we all are ingrained. So if you ask them how they did it, they're going to act, probably give you that idea, and then you can go and do it as well. Or in, in put your own personality into it, and then do it you know, the way you do it. I mean, setting expectations can sound like it has a negative connotation. Like, I mm -hmm. set expectations with my kids. I expect mm -hmm. you to get your homework yeah. done, right? But setting expectations, to your point at the beginning, is also a new way of framing your goals. Right. And it's right. maybe my expectations of myself. So yeah. that's a conversation to have, too, where I say to my boss, I'm setting some expectations of myself, yep. and I'm wondering what advice you have. Yeah. for me to meet them or what ways maybe we can alter our working environment to help me meet those expectations. And then, absolutely, and then say, okay, so in a week, what can I do within this week? Can, what can I do? What can I do today? What can I do this morning? You know, whatever the case may be, just tell them. You, you want this expectation and you want to solve that for them, but you also want to solve it for yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you kind of step out that comfort zone and do something different and maybe better for yourself, you're going to feel a lot more confident and more persistent in what you can do. All right, well, I expect to get a lot done this afternoon, thanks to your advice. Yeah, so thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks, Ashley. <laughs>